good morning everyone. It is now 8.30 and I have arrived outside of Kaiserhead Station. I can see some of my hands and make, but I'm just gonna have breakfast and then I'm gonna meet up. It is now 8.40 a.m. and we are gonna cross through this tunnel which I've been to many times and we are going to get out of the tunnel and I realize I've also had this part of the trail before but my friends and I went to another hill that day and today we are actually gonna go to a different place by this trail and you will walk past this Poland cook team camping primary school and then we are gonna keep walking along this bicycle trail please be mindful of the bicycles <laughs> So there's actually a public toilet here, but because I've just been to the toilet, I don't need the toilet, so I'm just going to wait for the others to come. We literally stayed there for one minute, and then we kept going forward from the public toilet. And then we are actually going to walk past these mansions. If you're scared of dogs, I would recommend you to come with a big group of people because there were loads of dogs barking along the way and if it wasn't because I was with this group of people, I would probably be really scared. There's only one road here even though you can see us going round and round but it leads us out back to this car road. There is a little path here, we have to start ascending upwards. There were also some really loud dogs back at the bottom, so be sure to come with a group of hiking people. And now we gotta walk along this path and the road is all really clear. We gotta turn it left here. We are now to the left of this place. This place is called Lonely Lonely Bowl. So we gotta walk along this car road until we see these stairs. Don't worry, we don't have to ascend a lot here. It's a mix of flat roads and stairs. And this hike is really good for the summer because it's all covered in trees. There's a crossway on the left here and we actually have to turn to our right. And we have arrived around the area of Chongzhanyun because I remember this sign. Because Chongzhanyun has a yellow, brown, and blue walk. I remember the last time I did the yellow walk. But this time we are going to do the blue walk and my hiking mate said it's going to rain. But I hope it doesn't rain. My friend just gave me one of these class promy brands. And we're taking a rest here. Please don't rain. It has been three minutes after I filmed the clip. And it's already raining. 
Luckily, I didn't take my drone out because the people are saying it's gonna rain. And we are gonna follow the blue route because it's rained a bit just now. And we were originally gonna hike some muddy paths, but we were worried that it's gonna be too muddy. So we decided to do the car road. And it is actually raining a lot. And luckily, my two friends let me be in the middle of them because they had two umbrellas and they covered me as well. And we followed the signs that says to Taipo Road. I realized I didn't take a photo at all. And that's why I wanted to take a photo there. And we are just gonna keep going down despite the crossways near us. Oh my gosh, it finally stopped raining and I saw a little view there, so I wanted to fly my drone here. The reservoir you can see in front of you is Cultural Heritage located at the edge of Tai Po Cow, right next to Lake Everett. And it is hidden from plain sight by lush greenery. And today, we have brought this building back to its former glory of its European architectural heritage with a hint of modern minimalism. The vast surrounding of the natural landscape brings out the beauty with in contrast between nature and human ingenuity. And my hiking mates said they want to be in my YouTube video. They told me to be sure to keep this video in your blog. After flying my drone, we're gonna keep going down this car road. Ooh, you can see a little view of the reservoir here. So I took a photo here like this. Oh my gosh, that's a really good Giant crate myrtle tree here. I want to see if I can ask someone to take a photo for me. After taking the photo, we are going to turn left from the zebra crossing that we just crossed. And we are going to walk along here. Actually, if you just want to go to the Little Agra River, you don't have to do the start of the hike. You can take the bus to Lai Chi Hang bus stop, which is this bus stop, and then the hike will be much shorter for you. But because I love doing long hikes, that's why we did the trail at the start as well. And we are just gonna walk along the car road until we reach Little Agra Reservoir. We have to cross over the road here. And here as well. Actually, if you don't walk into that road, I believe there is a road on the other side and you can see a picture of this view. Maybe I'll go there again next time, but for now, we're gonna keep walking along this road and through this subway. Oh, we don't have to go through the subway. We just have to go back along this fence. There's another beautiful photo spot here. I'm gonna take one here as well. And this is part of the Little Agra Reservoir, so I took a photo here. Oh my gosh, there's so many little agrets here. I wanted to take a photo here, but we had to catch up. So I just climbed over this rock and my friend helped me take a panorama photos. And this is the first time I've been here and I'm so glad that I came here today because if I didn't come here today then I wouldn't have known how to get here. And I'm not a relapse of the group so I need to get here. 
after taking a panorama photo there, we had to leave and walk back to Kuang Fuk Estate. And I was actually talking to one of the leaders of that hiking group. And she was the one who told me I missed the best view of Little Agra Reservoir. Anyways, it was a long walk along this Tolu Harbor, so I am gonna play some music for you guys. And as I was hiking this part of the trail, I was thinking how nice would it be if my boyfriend and I could walk along the coast. Maybe I'll take him there when he comes back from Canada, but I probably won't vlog that day. Although I might take pictures and put it up on my website, so be sure to bookmark my website. We have to walk along the bicycle road. Well, there's actually a sign here that says Tackle Waterfront Park, which I have been to before. And then we are gonna go to the road on the left hand side. And it's around a 14 minute walk to get back to Tackle High Station. And from the bicycle road, it can actually lead you to the MTSR station. You have to keep walking along this car road for around 5 minutes and then you have to cross over this road. But you can actually take a bus here. It goes back to Kung Tung Ferry Pier. But because I don't live in Kung Tung Ferry Pier, I kept walking along this bicycle road and down this subway. And you can turn right here and walk along this construction part and it will lead you to Tai Po Ho MTR station. Be sure to keep to your right and the MTR station is on your left. 